Hey everyone, we have a new tool here called Slice and Dice version 1.0. So to get right into it, you can select your objects in the scene and we can hit freehand draw. And then you can draw any spine you want and it'll actually slice the object using that uh, spine path you drew. You can go to edit with the selected objects and actually undo your slices. We also have the ability to draw a line. So you click and drag and you'll see the line changes colors from red to green. That Green indicates it's a valid path. And really, when drawing these paths, the key is it needs to start outside that rectangle and end on the outside. And the rectangle will kind of draw based on your view angle as we're projecting that cut line from the current view. So you can do some really interesting cuts here. You can see we have all these chunks now, which is really nice. <clears throat> you can also, if you select just one object, uh, you can actually draw circular cuts if you want. So if you get within 20 pixels of the first knot, you'll see it turn green, let go, and there we go. We got a slice. If at any point in your file, you can select the geometry and do edit, undo selected slices, and it'll start reverting that chunk to the previous uh, slice. So you can actually restore the entire bunny back to the original mesh if you want and continue drawing as needed. So you can get some really cool cuts here. The next section we have is the auto slice. So what that does is it cuts the geometry based on your view angle, the X, Y, uh, both in the view and the world. Now if you do want to visualize those before they cut the geometry, you can enable the preview mode up here. Select the geometry you want to cut. We'll go ahead and undo that first. And then you can hit X and you'll see that's the plane that's going to cut the bunny based on the x-axis of our view. We can do the y as well as the z. And then we have world x, world y, and world z. Now you'll see these parameters up here, position jitter and angle jitter. If you go ahead and adjust those while preview mode is enabled, you can kind of see how they affect the cut uh, plane in real time. So now every time we hit world z, it's gonna randomize these parameters. So we'll hit world Z here. We can do the, the view Z and you can see it moves along the Z axis. Um, so if we did 90 here, we'll get the full range. And then if you do 100%, what that's gonna do is move the cut plane, uh, the full bounds of the box in the view angle, or if you're doing it in the world, it'll move it from top to bottom, getting that full range. So if we zero this out, do 100 here, and you'll see and then if you like the preview plane, you can actually go ahead and hit commit preview slices and it'll use that size plane to cut it. Otherwise, if you turn that off, as you click these buttons, it'll go ahead and just cut the geometry uh, as, as needed. If you turn the position jitters off, it'll just cut it in the center of each piece of geometry to better kind of show you how that would work. If we had a box here and we did the world X, well, I did it on the view. Let me undo that real quick. If we do the world X and then the world Y, you'll see it kind of starts subdividing it. Now, if we undo those, and we'll do un undo that one more time. Undo. If we add some position jitter and angle jitter, you'll see that same setup now produces a bit more of a randomized kind of look. So you can mix and match stuff. We could select these, then do a freehand cut if we wanted, and you can kind of see what we get there. The last uh, section we have is custom selection. So what that allows you to do is cut a piece of geometry using a custom piece of geometry that you made. So let's go ahead and undo the bunny here. And what we can do here is create a sphere. We'll place it right on the bunny's bottom. And then whatever you want to be the cutter, I added a shortcut here, and you'll see in the tooltip, the object needs to have the name or word slice in it to use it as the cutter. So with this selected, we'll right click this button, which quickly will rename our sphere to have slice in the name. And now we can select all the geometry we want, and let's just for the sake of it, uh, let's create another bunny here so you can see it cuts multiple objects at one time. Select all that, hit commit custom cuts. Now if we delete this, you'll see 
our bunny's face is cut here and its butt is cut here. So it allows users to pump out a lot of custom meshes with custom cuts if they want. Go ahead and delete that and we'll go ahead and revert this guy. Um, put him over here. So the next thing we have here is random color. When that's enabled, every time you cut something, it randomizes the wire color. Otherwise, if that is turned off, um, it just retains the wire color it currently has. And that's just useful uh, for aesthetics within the viewport itself. Uh, that's up to your preference. And we'll undo this guy. And then we have show progress. So as you get into the heavier cuts, the progress is nice. It shows a progress bar at the bottom of the screen. So if we go ahead and hit world, you'll see it kind of starts showing those cuts as they happen in progression. I recommend turning it on for heavier scenes. Otherwise, I turn it off. It does impact the speed of the cuts just for updating the viewport in 3ds Max. And then lastly, what we have, let's go ahead and undo these real quick, um, is the slice surface. So to best utilize this, we turn on the preview mode. We will go ahead and hit World Z just so we can see our plane. And then under the surface, let's turn them off, turn off these randomized parameters. We can actually adjust how dense our plane is and the thickness, which is nice. So if we turn on thickness and then commit this cut, our bunny is now cut in half, which is really cool. We can also I'll turn on random wire color. I like having that on. Uh, we can add some nice surface noise to our objects. So if we turn off thickness and turn on noise one, we can kind of adjust that surface noise to give it a nice kind of uh, break up on the surface when we do cut it. See? And then what you also can do is add an additional secondary noise if you wish to get even some more granular noise. Now, if you do want more details, just up the density and you'll see that kind of affects it. Um, <clears throat> again, you can retain and add that noise back in. Just be careful when you add thickness that you don't have self intersecting geometry on the cut plane because that can cause some issues. Turn off thickness, you can actually make the strength really high and make the scale real small and get some really interesting, almost like wood cracks uh, in your cuts. So we'll go ahead and commit that. You can see here we got some interesting looks. So very cool stuff. These slice parameters do also apply to any of the drawing. So if we go ahead and do the freehand and draw this down here, you'll see. It shows the preview plane, and from here we can go ahead and commit that preview cut. And now our geometry is cut. If we turn off the preview, it'll just cut it as uh, as you finish your brush stroke. So yeah, that is a quick run through of Slice and Dice. If you guys have any feedback, feel free to uh, send an email, leave a comment, and we'll go from there. Thanks.